This heat is no joke. And let me tell you, I'm really not dressed to be at a beach today, but what I can tell you is it's hot. But it's not just that heat that officials are worried about. It's also strong surf and rip currents. To keep the heat in mind and understand that we all are very susceptible to it. Dr. Laura Foreman tells me they've seen an uptick in heat related hospital visits this summer at Care New England hospitals, reminding people to stay in the shade, wear sunscreen, stay hydrated and don't ignore early signs of heat stroke. What you don't know is, you know, if you're out in the water, out in the uh, in the sun for several hours, you need to be drinking like a gallon of water. It's far better to call it early, go in, you know, a little bit maybe before you wanted to rather than end up in the ER with heat stroke. For those across New England using beaches to stay cool. I'm beating the heat. Officials are warning you to be extra cautious, especially by the water. If you do not swim well, do not go in the water. The DCR reminding swimmers if you get caught up in a rip current, don't swim against it. Swim parallel towards shore. The water will pull your feet. A lady lost a water shoe yesterday. It just has a mind of its own. The DEM also making it clear, don't take risks. Something Shea Papillardo says he always keeps in mind when out on the water. Been in the ocean like all my life and I'm like a decently strong swimmer, but like no matter what, when you get in the water, there's always the thought like, what if it's this time that the riptide just gets you? Mike Healy also reminding people to always check for a small craft advisory before heading to the beach to see whether boating or kayaking are safe. Reporting live in Westport, Matt Paddock, 12 News. On top of the heat and thunderstorms, we're also tracking large waves and dangerous rip currents. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now from Westport with more on that. Matt. Well, the sun is out and it's shining here at Horseneck Beach. And let me tell you guys, it is hot. But when we first got here earlier in the day, the water hazard flags were at yellow. They're now at red and you can tell why. Just look how fierce the waves are by the ocean. I'm beating the heat. Summertime is in full swing. And for those living in New England, when the sun's out, the beach is the place to be. It's still very warm and we figured it's a weekday, might not be too crowded, may as well come down, enjoy the water, enjoy the good company. But as the heat continues to rise in our forecasts, heat warnings and advisories are on our horizons. It is really important to keep the heat in mind and understand that we all are very susceptible to it. Dr. Laura Foreman tells me they've seen an uptick in heat related hospital visits this summer reminding people to stay in the shade, wear sunscreen, stay hydrated, and don't ignore early signs of heat stroke. What you don't know is, you know, if you're out in the water, out in the, uh, in the sun for several hours, you need to be drinking like a gallon of water. It's far better to call it early, go in, you know, a little bit maybe before you wanted to rather than end up in the ER with heat stroke. For those soaking up the sun and looking to stay cool by the water, they say it's all about preparation. I mean, have you seen the hat? The neck this. flap is key. Neck flap keeps the sun off uh, you. And, and really hydration, you know. It's, it's the tale as old of time. Uh, sitting in the sun, you forget to drink, and then it's too late. But it's not just the heat local leaders are worried about. They're watching the ocean, too. The, t the water will pull your feet. A lady lost a water shoe yesterday. It just has a mind of its own. High surf and strong rip currents are top of mind. If you do not swim well, do not go in the water. Swimming is an inherently risky activity. All Massachusetts state beaches and public pools have extended lifeguard hours today and tomorrow. Reporting from Westport, Matt Paddock, 12 News.